Hello everybody, welcome to um, fucking, fucking episode of... So here, I go to make egg salad, right? Here's my eggs, eggs in the, 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 the squishy ripped up parts, you know how I do that, right? Good. Um, and then I go get mayo, and I'm like, no, no, I ran out of mayo, I gotta get my extra mayo. And I didn't have any, my, I didn't fucking have my extra mayo, my extra Duke's mayonnaise. The fuck? So, I want egg salad, and you can't just have <laughs> just dry egg salad. So, I looked up real quick the internet, and apparently the internet is a large series of tubes that data transfers through. But um, I looked up an instruction manual on how to make mayonnaise. And I just picked one from Brown Eyed Baker. I won't link it because on no way I'll find it again. But Brown Eyed Baker. And I think I have most of the things on this list. One egg yolk, one teaspoon yellow mustard, half teaspoon of fine sea salt, two pinches of granulated sugar, which is optional, one tablespoon of white uh, wine vinegar. I think I have that. Uh, two teaspoons of lemon juice, I got that. And one cup of light olive oil, I got olive oil, it ain't light. So, we're just gonna do with what I got, and I'll tell you if it fucking comes out terrible. Um, in a large glass bowl, don't have that. Uh, whisk together one egg yolk, mustard, sea salt, and sugar, if using. So, the egg yolk, this is a thing that, um, if you're into those weird Japanese pornos, this is what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna break that fucker in your hand. And you could save the whites, but I literally have entire things of egg whites, so you're just gonna let the, um, goodbye egg white. You sort of pinch it. Don't break your yolk though. The yolk's important here, bro. The yolk's why we're here. Yeah, you gotta do this. All right, they don't sell, actually, do they sell egg yolks? No, no, I'm just gonna try to flip this fucker there and then just let the rest of the shit fall on my hand. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then I'm gonna rinse off my goddamn, hand. ah, nut spray. All right. The messiest step is done. All this to have egg salad because I bought fresh pumpernickel bread. Because I buy my breads, I buy like three loaves of bread. And you're like, Zios, how are you gonna eat all those loaves of bread? And I'm like, no, I'm gonna freeze all these. But before I freeze them all, fresh pumpernickel bread, boom. Even though it'll come out perfectly fine if I freeze it. So now I need mustard, sea salt, and sugar. So how much mustard? <sighs> I hate measuring shit. And do I have yellow mustard, that pussy shit? That pussy, I need the lemon juice. I know I need that. Um. Now, I don't have yellow mustard, but I do have beer and brat horseradish mustard. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yellow mustard is like, you get yellow mustard when you're having a party and you know there's going to be six-year-olds there. And they want mustard on their fucking thing. What else do I need? Anything else in this fridge? White wine vinegar is there. Lemon juice I have. Olive oil is out. Okay. Let me see what kind of vinegar I have because it's a giant, like, three gallons. It might be... I don't think it's white wine vinegar, actually. More beer and brat. Red wine vinegar. I have red wine vinegar. I don't think that would be a good substitute. Neither would clam juice. You know, I have more horseradish mustard here. This is where the mayonnaise would be, by the way. Somewhere in the magic drawer. I do have Chick-fil-A sauce. I could have just used this instead of mayonnaise. That would be... I have two clam juices. Why are they not together? Lots of bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna? All right, here's my... Doesn't say wine vinegar, it just says vinegar. So we're gonna go with this. This is a clean your fucking house level of vinegar. Which if my goddamn instant hot water heater keeps throwing a fucking 14, I may have to use this to descale it. And how much of this shit would we need? Yellow mustard, one teaspoon. I'm just gonna just fucking, I'm just guessing on this, by the way. No, that felt like a teaspoon. Okay, um, half a teaspoon of fine sea salt. I don't have fine, actually wait, I do. I do have fine sea salt. And I'm on a salt restrictive diet. So let's make it like half of what I just put in my hand. Throw the rest away. It's gonna have to be good enough. Two pinches of sugar. Oh, I'll go back to the thing. I don't know what the sugar is gonna do, but if I can put sugar in something, why the fuck not? Two pinches of granulated sugar. Two 
pinches. I'm gonna call them that two pinches, which is basically the amount of salt I put in it too. So we got two pinches, two pinches, yellow mustard. Uh, full mustard, sea salt, sugar, whisk together. Nothing else, right? The egg yolk, mustard, sea salt, and sugar. There's not a lot of material here. Hope this makes enough fucking mayonnaise to fill that bowl. That's a f six egg? That's six eggs. All right, whatever, we're whisked. All right, uh, in a small bowl, which that is, stir together the vinegar and lemon juice. Are we gonna do have another fucking bowl? Fuck, I hate when things require like multiple fucking messes be made. Tell me I only got larger bowls. No, no, I'm gonna have to use one of my fucking bowls. This already sucks by mayonnaise. Um, okay. Vinegar and lemon juice. So how much, what's our vinegar and lemon juice fucking thing? Vinegar, two, tea, two teaspoons of lemon juice. Teaspoon, teaspoon. See how I measured just now? Um, and vinegar was, fuck did I lose it? One tablespoon. Oof. I really need a syringe thing to this is definitely not the right vinegar for this. I'm gonna use a very, very, I'm gonna go very, very weak. Very, very little, like, what the hell is there? Like a... Oh, that's not a tablespoon, I know it isn't. All right, that's, that's, my, that's all I'm willing to put in this fucking giant fucker. All right, uh, in a small bowl, stir together the vinegar and lemon juice. Whisk half of the vinegar mixture into the egg mixture until it's combined through it. So half of like barely anything has to go into this. Why is there keeping solid pieces of thing in there that should not be? Get the fuck. It's like little, it's like a piece of pepper. It's like a pepper, pepper grind. So half of nothingness needs to go in there. I feel like I should have quadrupled this fucking recipe. This is like making enough mayonnaise for a cracker. Okay. Add the oil a few drops of time. We need a cup of oil, of light olive oil. So I'll actually get a measuring cup for this. So as much as good as I am, I can't actually guess a cup. Wait, I have avocado oil. Let's use the avocado oil. We've had avocado oil mayonnaise. It's rather good. Okay. I should have poured that on this fucking table because it wouldn't have involved this. So now, uh, start whisking briskly, adding a few drops at a time. Drip. Okay. Until the liquid begins to thicken. So basically just the shaking of my body is going to allow that to drip like it currently is. Just gonna try to hold it perfectly still, and it ain't gonna work, so it's gonna drip thickeningly. Okay, uh, once you reach that point, continue whisking while you add the oil very slowly, steady stream. Once half of the oil has been inappropriate, whisk in the remaining vinegar mixture. Oh God. So isn't this why we invented fucking robots? See, I'm letting the bowl sort of rotate and do its own thing. This is this. This is a. It actually is starting to change color at least into a white, frothy thing. Nope. I'm trying to hold the thing now so I could actually whisk. We're not quite at halfway yet. Come on, you bitch. Alright, I put a lot of it in there. Still not half. About 60% is integrated. A little bit more. Okay. I'm calling that half. Put that down. Get oil over your countertop. Once half of the oil has been incorporated, whisk in the remaining vinegar mix mixture.
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I hate this, my arm. It's never the same with your left arm. Everybody knows this. If you're a righty, at least. And you're whisking until all the oil is incorporated. All right, so back to this. Slow, steady stream of whisking. Oh God, too deep, too, too fast, too furious. The cookbook. My fucking, I'm not gonna be able to lift my fucking sandwich. Fuck it, there's my fuck it moment. The frustration. Arm, Jesus, fuck. How do cooks cook? I say what though, that looks like fucking mayonnaise. I feel like every condiment that's easy enough to make should be made at home once. I should make my own ketchup. I should make my own barbecue sauce. Not using Kraft as a base. Uh, and since I'm not following this instruction manual to the letter or measuring, I wonder how well it's gonna come out. So now, I'm calling that. I just shook mayonnaise everywhere. Okay. That's actually how I'm cleaning that. That's just soapy water. There was popcorn butter in there. So, I mean, it's not like animal fat. So that's, that's clean. Put that fucker back in the goddamn drawer. Fuck. I've already got more dishes dirtied than I wanted. Okay, allow mixture to sit at room temperature for one to two hours. Then refrigerate up to a week. I guess that means if you're gonna serve it. Like I'm putting it in my make, I'm having egg salad. Actually, we're gonna make, you know, fuck it. We're making that, that can sit at room temperature for one to two minutes. Well, I toast bread, complain about how much my arm hurts from that fucking, I mean, no one jerks off that hard. If you do, go to a doctor, get a vibrator, they work. Uh, you leave the heel to sort of protect the rest. Dun, 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 up, up, up. Uh, I could actually start separating. See, I don't know if I'm even gonna separate. You, what I used to do is separate them into Ziploc bags where I had like three or four slices of each type. And I would freeze them and then take the whole thing out, let them all defrost. But now I just, since quarantine, my, my, what I do is I just freeze the whole loaf and just peel the, peel the bread off. I've never had a problem going in there and going, peel a loaf off. Peel a, a slice off. So those just ready to go down the basement. In fact, we'll bring these over to the basement. Did I lose my tie? I lost my fucking... I'm anti-bread tie, so when it falls off, it's because I'm anti-bread tie. Yes, right here in the, in the, the big mop thing I bought to mop the basement. That whole thing has to go downstairs. I'm just putting things in it that have to go downstairs. Don't squeeze it if you could avoid it. Bobok tubers, I've got all this tricky out for you. You know what? This is way too much mayonnaise for that. Okay, so at least I know that that turned out okay. I'll take a picture of this for the uh, cooking consortium. And the, the, the reason, and the reason why. So now, I should use one of these so I can integrate. So I will. Yeah, it's a very mayonnaise-y looking mayonnaise. We'll start with that much, even though it's definitely not gonna be enough for six eggs.
Now, I would usually add salt and all sorts of things to this egg salad, but since I went with built my old fucking mayonnaise, I'm not gonna. We actually, that might have been enough egg salad. We have got a good, that's a good consistency. Does it say I have to let this sit out at room temperature for that long, by the way? I don't know if it did. Also, I can transfer that into a smaller container. These are the only things I have that are like... I think that'll fit, actually. All right, and we go to the last stir. Uh, I'm gonna taste now. No, I'm gonna scrape this off first. Then I'm gonna taste. Hmm. You know what? I definitely taste the oil. Like straight up oil. Because it's like a fucking cup of oil in there. Interesting. It's definitely got mayonnaise. I mean, I just had egg salad, so. I'm going to have to taste the mayonnaise straight up. So when I get done with this. Any other day of the week, this would be like my favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. I think the avocado oil definitely always gives it a weirder taste. Actually, no. It's avocado, by the way. I feel like it needs more salt. I went light on the salt. Okay, well, until I get out to the store and buy Dukes, this will have to suffice. Suffice, not replace. I'm not sold on this whole fucking... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some pepper to that. Not to the mayonnaise, to the egg salad. Let's season the egg salad. I'm gonna add a little bit of like hot pepper. I'm gonna add some black pepper. I'm gonna add some of these uh, flat iron uh, Hatch Valley green. Add a little bit of spice. This is like what I put in my pizza. And I wanna just put a, I can't, I'm on a fucking low salt diet, you pricks. But I'm gonna put a fucking half, whatever I put in my hand, half of that. And then just sort of like, The problem with pumpernickel is you can't tell if you burnt it because it's already like bla black, brown, hot. It's already hot. This is way too hot. Why am I holding this? Holy shit. It was way too hot. I don't know why I'm rinsing that out. It's going to go on a dishwasher. So I'm just wasting water. A big, I actually, I don't do a closed. Uh, egg salad sandwich anymore. I've, I've, I'm done with closed sandwiches. They're the wrong ratio of bread to stuffing and you can't ever put enough stuff in the sandwich because then it just ends up being like a stupid thing. But like, because like this is the perfect amount of egg salad for this piece of bread. Yeah. And if I put another piece of bread on top of it, it's too much bread and not enough egg salad. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, what was the guy's name from Pete and Pete, The Adventures of Pete and Pete? It was just called Open Face. They just called him Open Face. That was it. That was, he was the, one of the bullies at school. And that was his, that was his bad guy identity is he just ate Open Face sandwiches. I've become him and I understand his uh, motivations in life. Because see that, that's a perfect amount. Oh yeah. Mmm. You know what? A little bit of extra salt, which isn't gonna bother you because you don't have a low salt diet. A little bit of spice in the pepper. The pumpernickel bed with the crisp. Pumpernickel bread, not bad. Pumpernickel bed is over there. Mmm. Especially an egg salad sandwich is better open face. Because as soon as you put it between the bread and you squeeze, it's gonna come out the side. This is on there like a pate. It's 
was a good breakfast. It took a little longer than I would have liked. It would have just been Duke's. Done. Go home. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you for joining the Z Cooks Consortium. Mmm. One more on top of that. It's still lacking so yep. something that real mayonnaise has. I don't know what it is. It's probably more salt than I'm willing to put on it. And a little more of the slightly hotter red pepper flake right onto the top of the one I've already started. So that if I put too much, that one will save me. That's how my brain works. So you can spice anything you want. Just make sure the thing you have at the end isn't spiced. So all this, oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Patreon for the Z Cooks. Different from all the other Patreons that you've ever been to in that we don't post any content, but if you're in there long enough and you get bored, you tell us, hey, I paid five dollars. Where the fuck's the cooking consortium? We'll let you into a private behind the scenes telegram chat. It's like the darkest secret because we don't post anything on Patreon at all. Just peel out people into the into the group. So it's nice. It's a nice quiet place. We lust over food. And uh, that's it. I made mayonnaise so that I got fucking egg salad sandwiches. Because Egg salad is delicious on pumpernickel bread specifically, and I'm an evil bastard, apparently. 